cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a cancer? <laughs> hey, boo head, this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? <laughs> hey to the hey to the hey. Welcome to the family, you guys. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight and fuss, okay? We do cuss, all right? We don't, we don't, you know, we fight, they're fighting for shit. We do that shit on other people's channel. But here we smile, we laugh, we love, we relate, we share, we grow. We one big happy family, all right? Posy vibes only. To the returning subscribers, hey, Pamela, did you miss me? Because I show miss y'all. <laughs> you guys, this message is not going to resonate with everybody, all right? Take what does, leave the rest. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below within the description. Reach out to me via email at mochadidlove at gmail.com so that I can um, put you in the damn slots. Look in the slot list. It's rolling. I have a turnaround time of anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. If you want an emergency reading, those are the only readings that are the same day. And so we can go ahead and slide you in. But just definitely make sure you send me an email or if you have already spoken to me before, text me first. Sis. Don't just be sending me no money and being mad when I say I can't do it today. Text me first. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You guys, don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit. If it's too big, your ass is going to fall. If it ain't for you, don't try to make that shit for you. All right? This ain't your flow. Don't try and make it go. What else I got to say, cancel? Damn it. All right? This will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of cancer for the month of October 2019 for the first half. We're going to go ahead and get into it, okay? Overall energy for the reading. You guys, um, I actually feel really, really, really good when I tune into your energy. I feel as if a lot of you all are actually discovering your life past or you actually getting very interested during this time of what actually is your life past. Some of you guys are healers. Others of you are shamans. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. Some of you guys want to get into energy healing. Others of you may also be into some type of like aquatic science or interested into going back to school for some type of aquatic science or some type of environmentalist type work. Others of you are also getting into um, herbs and natural, like, holistic type pro uh, projects as well during this time. And some of you guys could definitely, there's a focus on legacy, family, and what it is that you're building and what it is that you're going to leave behind for your children. So a lot of you guys are really focused on the self. Some of you guys are still doing some internal healing. Some of you guys are done with healing and you're actually seeing what doing the work is actually manifested as far as in your material within your life. So some of you guys could be going through... Um, some of you guys could be experiencing new love in your life. Some of you guys have some type of spiritual connection with someone. And I feel like this person, you're discovering how they mirror you at this time. For some of you all, it's a fire sign, Eric Leo Sag. For others of you, it could be another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're able to see right through someone during this time. And you're appreciative of the fact that someone can actually see right through you in order to know what you need as far as fulfillment, okay? So for, for the most part, some of you guys could be dealing with someone from your past, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with what it is that you manifested, all right? And others of you, this has to do with movement forward, progression. So some of you guys could physically be moving forward, okay? Some of you guys could be physically moving home during this time or looking to move. And I definitely see that things are going to go in your favor. Some of you guys could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's some type of balancing out. Some of you guys could also be dealing with some type of legality, especially if there was any type of ties uh, due to like family, children, assets with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have children with this person. For some of you all, this could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's some type of, with you doing some type of internal work or this internal work when it comes to the purging of the things that are burdensome to the soul or that the soul is needing to release or some type of clearing work. Some of you guys are discovering that you needed to go through this. You needed to be put through those burdens and those trials because for some of you all, it was actually to assist you with healing some type of ancestral cycle when it comes to issues of abandonment, issues of um, allowing, like, 
the fears of the like projected fears from ancestors you know your mom your dad um your grandmother your great grandmother your aunts your uncles um allowing their perceptions and their validation of your moves to affect how you move it so a lot of you all are coming out of that energy you're learning to trust yourself listen to your inner voice okay some of you guys could definitely be going through some type of massive um some of you guys could also be experiencing a lot of issues, well not issues, but experiencing a lot of energy exchange when it comes to the sacral and the throat chakra during the month of October. So some of you guys, there's a need for you all to speak some type of truth in order to transmute a cycle in order to go in order for it to go in a way that's harmonious and balanced on both between two parties because this feels like a relationship or some type of business partnership, okay? Some of you all may have a damn Sagittarius coming in and bustling your damn life during this time, just unexpectedly coming in and expecting you to chase their damn shadows like that he finna come in here and chase his shadow. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, 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 what we not gonna do, sit down, puppy, because you come up in here busting up in here and just making a whole bunch of ruckus. Sit down now. Calm down. That's your shadow joker. Y'all, I cut these lights off. Light these candles up. Open up a window. Puppy see his shadow. He is going crazy. Okay. Excuse puppy. If you hit a little tatter da 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 little skibbity paps on the ground. It's puppy. Okay. Some of you all also could be deciding to have a conversation with your father during this time. Or who is someone's forgiving a father figure or maybe the father of your children after some type of light is being after some light the light is being shed on a situation. That the universe is <laughs> that the universe is conspiring with an unveiling. This could be regarding a partner. For some of you all, this could also be regarding someone from your past. Some of you all, it has to do with someone in your family. Some of you all, some of you all may feel as if. There has been some type of connection broken due to interference, possibly from a fire sign. Some of you all are also discovering. Okay, somebody, somebody could have accused you or you could have accused another person about lying about a pregnancy. The light is getting ready to be shed on the situation during this first half of October. And I feel like it's just going to confirm some type of inner knowing for some of you. Some of y'all thought somebody was fucking lying about a pregnancy or someone thought this about you, Cassie, and light is going to be shed on a situation where somebody's fucking lying, okay? But others of you, this could have to do with some type of paternity or DNA test. Some of you guys are adults and this is happening with your father. This could also be involved in a, um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you all, this has to happen in order to, in order to, in a sense, push you out of your safety, push you out of a safe zone when it comes to the opening up of your feelings, or for that matter, for the, when it comes to judging yourself or blaming yourself for a particular cycle that you've also lived through. The spirit is saying these burdens are going to have to be dropped during this time because this is what's preventing you from being successful or moving successful or, or being successful um, when it comes to initiating the first step, which comes from the confidence that the confidence within self. Some of you all are jumping off the damn cliff during this time, Cancer. Good shit. Others of you could be dealing with the water sign from your past. You could have children with this person. For some of you all, you could actually be pregnant by this person. And for some of you all, you're trying not to feel any type of heartbreak. Another person is trying not to feel when it comes to their emotions towards you. The Spirit is saying that someone will be taking off the mask. Someone will be opening up and being vulnerable during this time, revealing their emotions, which will bring some type of balance to a situation. Some of you guys, there could have been talks about divorce or separation from someone in the past, and someone's just coming in and just like, whoa. You know, I, I heard unexpected. So some of you guys are receiving some type of unexpected offer from someone. And I feel like this was after something was being, some. this is after something is being torn down, torn down. 
the rebuilding, the rebuilding of healthy foundations. In order to create a new. All right. But for some of you all, there's a need. Some of you all, there, you're, uh, some of you guys could be seeing a lot of frogs. Others of you, you could also be encountering a lot of butterflies and rabbits during this time. All signifying wealth, abundance, fertility. Some of you all also may be drawn to the color white and green during this time. There's a lot of abundant energy around you all. A lot of healing. A lot of heart shock. A lot of loving, unconditional, that divine feminine-like energy on you guys during this time. Yeah, in the month of October. Yeah. And for some of you all... Some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I feel like with this person, you love this person, but you don't know if it's worth investing in. And at the same time, some of you guys could be having some type of offer of like interception, like somebody trying to come in and intercept that ass and take you out of a situation where you were tired of investing into a situation that is going to be very essential to your growth. Others of you could be in this celebratory energy during this time. Some of you guys could have recently gotten married. Or there could be talks of marriage or engagement. And some of you all, there's fears. Some of you all, there's fears around. Like some of you guys, either you or another person, someone's making an offer or someone made a decision to keep another person, but... Secretly, deep down, either you or your person kind of feels this sense of bound. And I think it has to do, I feel like it has to do with ancestral cycles when it comes to commitment in marriage. Either I, either on your side or this person's side. But even there, if there's a desire for that, for that emotion, there's also a slight fear around it because of their perception of what they've come to know regarding it. Regarding commitment, I do feel like there will be conversations had, and instead of talking to, like, instead of arguing with a person, or I heard badgering, instead of badgering a person, someone feeling as if, someone feels as if you, they want to grow with you, they love you, but they don't feel like you trust them. Someone feels as if the other person loves them, but there's no trust here. Based on things and decisions and secrets that could be coming out about one's past during this time. Like someone really wants to renew a situation with you, Cancer, but you just don't trust it. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sash. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys have an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, that if you, if you give them the chance, they really want to show you that they want to be essential in your life. They really want to be someone in which you can grow with. They want to bring this sense of balance and harmony into your world, Cancer. Some of you guys could also be going through or rectifying a situation around your children. This could also be some type of fairness happening when it comes to compromising or um Someone stop, someone's going to stop being a damn asshole and trying to run the fucking show and actually compromise with you because I feel like being an asshole is not working in their favor. Someone is actually putting them here and putting down the pride. Someone tried some gaslighting bullshit in the past, counselor, and you said, okay, <laughs> that's how you feel. I hope you meant it, motherfucker. Bye. And you literally starved this person of your energy and... It's making this person want to come back in the vibration of giving you the ultimate of the ultimate. This person want to come back. They're king now. It's Uncle Willie's son. They're king. But someone is still having to deal with this aspect of, or someone's having to take a leap of faith here when it comes to matters of the heart and a reconciliation with someone, especially if you have children with this person. Someone doesn't trust it. Someone could have also recently gotten engaged or recently took their relationship to the next level and the ex that there was no closure with. Someone who really had a pull on your heartstrings. Now this person is coming back changed. And some of you all are questioning, did you make a mistake? Are you moving too fast with your current partner? But at the same time, there's this element of don't fuck my shit up. Don't fuck this up for me because I work my ass off. To, I'm here to build this person into who I wanted them to be. So some of y'all are having to make a decision. 
Do I trust and follow through with the situation? Will I be vulnerable and allow this person to come in and hurt me again? Will they hurt me again? For some of you all, you're dealing with a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person loves you, but they're selfish. And I feel, and I don't call them selfish from a space of like, for some of you all it is, they are selfish with their finances. But for some of you all, they're selfish when it comes to what they're willing to give to you emotionally. Even though you give, even though you stand naked in front of this person, there's always this aspect of like, Things been illuminated to you, and you're really tired of feeling as if your life is a big ass jack in the box. Like, what the fuck is gonna pop out the fucking closet, out the trunk, around the corner next? Like, what? Some of you guys are feeling. It's like you you're feeling as if you're being forced to be a slave to your loyalty to someone who's extremely codependent and needy. For some of you all, and someone who is just a, or for some of y'all, someone who's addicted to chaos. It's like this person loves you. But it doesn't take away the fact that they got a bunch of shit in their life that they try. I feel like this person, I heard fight or flight. So this person either starts shit to run or they immediately run. But now this person is being forced and backed in the corner to deal with their shit. And you're sitting back and you're observing and you're like, damn, do I really want to take all of this home? Even though I love this person and the opportunity has presented itself um, to me to reconcile with this individual. Especially when I have the opportunity Mm -hmm. to have healthy communication with someone, a flow with someone that isn't forced because some of y'all have the option of new love and your ex is trying to come fuck shit up and cancer is like no fuck no others of you, there's indecisiveness about it, I don't know what to do I could take myself out of this space of overthinking a situation because logically I know what to do. But my heart, I feel as if my heart can't detach from this situation because this situation is attached and I'm going to get deep canceled. And the reason being is deeper than you can see because the situation is attached to inner work that I'm doing within myself. Some of you all could also be um, heavily, heavily researching uh, the wounded healer. As well, some of you all also can receive some type of perception shift or the answer to whatever it is that you were waiting on from the universe near a body of water or by actually meditating and sitting down Indian style on the grass. Some of you all need to put your damn back up against the tree and make grounded decisions because some of you all, there's a need for you not to fuck up because you want to win or you, or you don't. Or something or some someone or something has come back into your life and you want to hold on to it for dear life because you've gone without it. And there's this fear around losing it or not having it again. But for some of you all, it's not ready. And it's only coming back to show you how far you've grown and also to test you from the sense of putting you first. What have you learned by doing the same shit with this motherfucker before? Have you not gone through all of this work? to better yourself have you not gone and put in all of this work to further yourself and further further your ambitions even some of you all didn't even start a business and every damn thing because this person's been away no one was with you shooting in the fucking gym but now this person wants to come in i'm here moving in some of y'all somebody want to move the fuck in real quick and you're like whoa 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 wait a wait a minute there's a need for some of y'all to step the hell back and observe and listen to your inner voice because you are the motherfucking high priestess cancer. For some of you all, somebody's coming back to be a, 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 another kid. They're another motherfucker up in there eating up your cereal. You just, I just bought this fucking cereal. I just bought this fucking bread. Like, it's gone already? Because you got a grown motherfucker. They got this woe is me ass attitude. This woe of me aspect of life that was once really familiar to you. But you acknowledge it, you fixed it, you healed from it. And this is a test of spirit saying, I hear you, I hear you asking me what you asked me for. But it's what, it, what you're asking me for and where I'm trying to take you is going to require for you to have the ability to know when to speak up for yourself. And since everything starts at the foundation of the, the root of things, the home front, the home. Because if your house not right, you can't get nobody else fucking shit right. So we're starting at the root of things. If you cannot lay situations down and 
express yourself and come from this open, loving, but balanced, healthy, but healthy boundaries being set in place, as place, at home, or with someone who you know you need to set boundaries with. How will you do this when I elevate you? And how will this become a problem later if you don't deal with this now? How could this be a problem later if you don't deal with this particular behavior now? I feel like some of you guys are healing some type of, some type of issue around that validation that needs to be needed from a father figure. And this person mirrors that behavior, which is why some of y'all, this reconciliation with your damn daddy, your kid's daddy, and another person who has that same energy is coming in. Some of you all was a catalyst to someone's awakening to get their shit together because they've been running. And in doing so, and choosing to release yourself because of the work that you've put into yourself, all these damn counterparts out here. Look. This, baby, is your reward. Honest communication. Somebody who know what they want. They come in, they build. Baby, we make solid plans. Growth and elevation. Emperor and empress type shit only. I'm done with the games. A lot of you all would choose to lay a situation to rest. Some of you all are going to heal or mend some type of dis, uh, disharmony or I'm, I'm hearing misunderstandings possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Bill, Sag. Some of you all are walking completely the fuck away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if they don't choose to change their fucking behavior up. Some of you all are finally seeing for what it is that the earth sign is too fucking needy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and you're going to stand up for your fucking self. Sun, moon, or rising. Jupiter, Venus, Lilith, bitch, all that. And some of you all are setting healthy boundaries when it comes to dealing with their water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Listen, I love you. And you are who I want. But what you not going to do is that shit. The shit you been doing. Yeah, when you ask me, what am I doing wrong? Every fucking thing you been doing before you came back to this motherfucker. Because let me tell you, you know who I am. But let me tell you who I'm not. <laughs> Period. Shutting shit down. All right? So let me pull an angel message for you guys for the month of October. I know y'all like most of all been. And yes, you guys. And some of you guys are also moving away. You're choosing to remove yourself from the third party bullshit with this damn uh can cancel with I'm sorry, with this damn Gemini Libra Aquarius and this damn Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of y'all look with this damn Cancel Pisces Scorpio and this Aries Leo Sagittarius. Motherfucker, you can't let that shit go. You don't you don't know how to control yourself. Okay, well I know how to control mine. Bye Felicia. Bye Frank. Alright. So let's get it. I heard friends, family, etc. Spirit not man, y'all are cutting people. The toxic, codependent, needy shit, not with it. Sensitivity. Angel Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself. Honor yourself. Honor yourself. Honor your 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 yourself and your feelings. It's about you. You gotta put everybody else in your pocket. If you're not right, you can't get nobody else right. And you guys are making healthy and balanced and, and, and real strategic decisions during this time to get you right and just say fuck everybody else and let them see either sink or swim. Period. But when is in your DNA? So that's the spirit got your focus on. Where do you want to be? What do you want? What is what is your fulfillment lie? What is your abundance lie? What do you value? What are you appreciative for? What do you want? What will you do? Because you're going to do it. You guys need a personal reading. You guys hit me up. That's what I have for you all for the month of October. And I send you all peace, blessings, so much love, so much light, so much healing, y'all. But this full moon in Aries is going to be intense. I feel it already. Y'all see my zen? I feel like I'm going to get a little spicy later on. 
Love y'all. <laughs> Bye.